after leaving the city and traveling for a little bit of time, all of you encountered some very powerful flying beings that just seemed to come out of nowhere and slam down and start attacking you. After a series of very effective attacks, <laughs> you all decided to GTFO. And you turned the ship around and booked it as fast as you could. And you see as these winged creatures turn and begin to fly after you, taking chase. What do you want to do? Do we also see the that one banished pilot falling from the sky? <laughs> Make a perception check, you guys. Oh, oh boy. That's a uh, 18. 18? You do see as... This uh, blackened point in the distance reappears as you disengage and just begins to fall and then stops and slowly lowers to the ground before, after another minute or so, a creature appears and just flies down underneath it. Inkle just stroke his chin and turn back and say, <laughs> apparently those guys, they know uh, slow fall. Oh, apparently they don't know haste. And then I'm gonna... Both you and Rowan run to the front of the ship, and you one looks one way, the other looks the other way, and you start, like, scanning the distance as, like, the, uh, the slate sort of glows in your hand. You don't see anybody. Nobody seems to be appearing next to you. You're just traveling along. Looking up, too, I'm assuming, as well. Kind of, like, mm -hmm. looking all around... I don't see them. I don't. Uh, if they, they teleported, they're not teleported in here. Yeah, uh, they could have just returned wherever the hell they came from. Or they're planning an ambush later. Can you see anything with your goggles, Davna? With my knowledge of undead, would I know what they were? You think back to what you saw, and you're like, you're thinking about these undead creatures, and you're like, I don't necessarily know what the birds were. Like, they looked like rocks but some form of undead rock, maybe? You don't know if like they had anything different about them, but the creatures that were sitting astride them, you think about it and you're like, I know what those were, and they were Death Knights. Death Knights. That doesn't sound good. Huh? Death what? Knights. What is that? Uh, Amara, if you would, uh, if you, you, with that role, you would know what a death knight is. Yeah, fucking nightmare. And they often wore fine clothing or armor, especially capes, to mark importance. They were high, important creatures. They are typically created beings in that they were someone who was felled by someone, uh, a powerful necromancer who then created this creature. So another one of uh, you, basically, created these things? Basically. Do you think it's related to what almost shot us down earlier? That orb? It could be. Because ever since we got that, and he's going to be like, oh wait, and he's going to pull everyone back and he's going to a cigarette's gonna appear in his hand with a cup of coffee and he's gonna be like, so I figured out something and he's he gonna lift out lists of names like a spellcaster and it's gonna have like a little picture of Amara and Akron next to him with the question marks. It's like the fighter is gonna have like Rowan's little picture <laughs> like poorly drawn next to it with the question mark. <laughs> he's gonna be like, so I think these, some of these relate to us. Um, I haven't figured out the word I comes up. So that's who it's coming from. And I thought, I was like, is it a is it a message? Is it a threat? A warning? But these words, and he's going to look over and point to words like, I have a, an entire list here, mm -hmm. the judge. It's like, 
to judge and betrayal. That that tells me he thinks we betrayed him because he wouldn't send a message to someone about judgment and betrayal. But I don't understand these words and these I'm point to like my heart, no wonder, and then like some of the combiner words like or should something like I think this is a threat from somebody to us. Um, it's someone who we thinks we betrayed them in some way, I think. Maybe if it is related to this necromancer, then if he has a whole army, it's difficult to do that alone. Whoever not took a, not impossible, fa- though. Whoever took the false hide or head, maybe. It so could be a connection. I think he's trying to judge us for something we did. My guess would be a betrayal. But I don't remember betraying anyone. It might not even be a threat. It may come down to how we input it into the orb. This is the most complex death threat I've ever received. Usually people are pretty precise on those. I think a necromancer would be. Or, I'm coming after. Sounds like, like, like they a... like a game. Rowan, you, you start looking around. You've got the slate in front of you and you're looking up in the sky and you're paying attention to what's happening. Uh, Mara and Akron, you're spellcasters. You're not like watching the area around you hardcore but you've got your eyes out you see is like clouds begin to billow in hey doesn't that one uh, look like a puppy <laughs> i thought it looked like a saber cat oh. how's your meditation coming along akron horrible i just fall asleep every time <laughs> only thing i focus on is the back of my eyelids mm. well, i mean if you needed help uh meditating i'm been doing it for a century i could help <laughs> a century i'm your I elder i rolled a nat uh natural 17 uh but with the additional perception it'll be 23 you see as like you're you're flying the ship you move to the front of the ship and you see as the ship is about to basically collide with a flock of birds large not bird strikes large <laughs> birds as you're moving to it and like the ship is right on top of it and about to about to slam into them what do you do uh uh rowan is going to slow down the ship to where we we decelerate and he's going to tell amara and akron you guys want to hit the deck and uh and try to try to maneuver with the slow Okay. But I don't know if there's really anything he can do. Amara and like Akron. The, the base of maneuvers uh, with the ship, if he, if he can. Amara? What's 18? 13 plus... Okay. No, thir- 17. 13 okay. plus 4. Amara and Akron, what'd you roll? I got a 9. I got an 8. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled an 8 plus 1. Okay. There are magic users. Uh, <sighs> hey, we... We got this. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> so, here's the thing. Here up, here down. No. Both of you were standing on the side of the ship. Oh no! Looking out into the distance, mm-hmm. as Rowan, like, looks up, sees this, calls out, and then decelerates the ship fast, moving it around to prevent this collision with these birds. And Amara and Akron, both of you, fly off the edge of the ship. Perfect. Um, are we? Are we close to each other? Can we touch each other? Like, you yeah, are right. You're up. right next to each other. What do you want to do? Right. You're First falling thing, very go, quickly. Like... The rest of you I'm are grabbing all, you. Dimension door. The rest of you are all thrown from your bunks. You do not get a a, a long rest yet. You're oh, thrown shit. from your bunks. You're like, and like you're woken abruptly as what the fuck just happened as you hear Rowan shout and you hear a scream from Amara and Akron. Inkle, get up from the floor and run out onto the deck to see what's wrong. Okay. I imagine Dabner's like plastered up against the wall since he's like 30 pounds. (laughs) 
Does he like come up to the wall and jump, kind of run outside? Like, what the? Sh what's going on? That's it. Uh, Amar and Akron, uh, you two are just falling. You're you're very quickly reaching terminal velocity. You are high in the sky. What do you want to do? Dimension door. You got a dimension door? Yep. Uh, while we're we, okay. we reach out for each other's hand. Okay. Because yeah, uh, I want yeah. uh, I want uh, uh, Amara and Akron. Uh, 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 both of you make dexterity checks to see if you can like very quickly grab. Check onto or each save. Other. Uh, we'll say it a save. Yeah. Okay. Dirty twenty. There we go. Akron. Okay, I'm going. I got. <laughs> I got an eight, so okay. I'm gonna use. Uh, you know, I, I feel like I should. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do blessed by the. All right, so add six to that, so it'll be fourteen. Fourteen. You're just like Amara. You see your plight, and you're falling, <clears throat> and just as the 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 ground is hitting, and you're going at terminal velocity, you throw your hand up, you grab and lock hands with Akron. Is like he's slipping a little bit. You make a firmer grip with your dirty twenty. You hold on for dear life as you activate your dimension door. <clears throat> And you reflect yourself up to the top of the ship, and you hit onto the ship itself. Ah! Oh. oh my back, but I'm so glad we're, we're fuck? alive. Oh, Mara, holy shit! What the hell's happening here? What's going on? This is the second time I've been tossed from this fucking ship. <laughs> Why do you keep jumping off the ship, Amara? <laughs> oh, jerk! It was for. Rowan's gonna point to the the full massive flock of birds that were maneuvering through at this point. I'm assuming the thirteen you, point you're, six. You're looking. Your friends are like looking at you, like what the fuck, and you're like pointing. You're and you see. Do we see him? Yeah, all of you. Like but Rowan points back to where it was with that nineteen, and all of you turn and see flying behind the ship where that flock of birds was four large undead looking rocks punch it all right rowan's going to punch it at that okay. and he's gonna say before he does uh, he's gonna say hold on and amar and it. amar and akron are still like laying on the ground like been slammed as these like you hear? You will not. Um, there's a bolt of lightning that fires directly at the ship. Oh, counter like spell. That's probably actually a strong. You toss a counter spell out. Yeah. Lightning. Okay. Amara, you see this bolt coming at you, and just in the instant, she like no. As he checks, as Rowan goes, fuck, and punches. Yeah. Can they have advantage? Because I gave him a heads up before You gave him a warning, so go ahead and, uh, except for, uh, Akron and Amara, both of you are already laying on the ground, so you're... Um, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, Rowan's gonna kind of go up to Amara and help her up on her feet and, and help, and then help Akron. Thank you, I'm Mara. sorry, guys. It was, uh, uh, Rowan's just gonna be concerned that this word scrying and watching, he's gonna say, wait, 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 is somebody watching us? And at all times? Like, so... how does that happen? He'll ankle come up and just place a hand on yeah. Rowan's shoulder okay. and explain the whole concept of scrying to him real quick. Uh, on my Amara yeah. dice too. So that means so, I should keep my yeah, would you yes. to see this? Well, he had his goggles off, so Davna, I mean you slap those bees on. Yeah, wear your BCGs. Yeah, oh. I'll keep them on during the day then on the uh, We'll make sure you, you guys don't get some sleep. At night. Yeah. Uh, like, before you go to bed, do a quick look around. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what we can do about it. It's also it's possible that it's not even happening anymore. Yeah, it definitely. It's already happened. And... Goggles back on and just do a quick patrol around the ship before he goes back to sleep. Well, here's the thing. If this is now the second time we're coming across them, stands to say, logically, yeah. we're going to do it again. Yeah. Um... What what can we do to prevent it at this point? Well, when we come across them again, those rocks are trouble, but the Death Knights are nothing we haven't handled before, it seems like. Can we destroy whatever it is that they're looking at us with? Like, I don't... 
I'm not quite sure how that works. Can can we like shoot it? So we'd have to be able to see the orb and dispel it when it happens. Something appears to be floating above Rowan. It's right there. Hold. Aim aim me at uh, it. Aim me at it. Devner's gonna like kind of climb up on top of Rowan's shoulders and get close to the orb <laughs> and just kind of see if he can get a closer look at it, I guess. Yeah, I just... Whoever's watching, what do you want from us? That Black fish eye. Like, that fish eye look that whoever... Yeah. <laughs> what do you want from us? <laughs> Big eye. <laughs> <laughs> It it like it's sitting there and it's like just watching. Then it just vanishes uh, before the staff even gets towards it. It just it went away without. It knows we're watching now. Is it a bad thing that it's above my head? That means they were looking at you. So do they have to have something of you of yours to track you? I, I don't know. Uh, what could they have of mine? I'm gonna pop my own detect magic, and I'm gonna give Rowan a thorough looking over for any okay. magic out of the ordinary. You start um, staring at like Rowan, and you're like looking down his body. Um, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, nothing seems to be obscure or uh, on it. Um, with your natural twenty, when it comes to the scrying. You do know that whoever is scrying simply needs to know of or know the person in mm. order to scry on them. So they don't need a part of them. Okay. Ooh. I wasn't sure if it was like voodoo. They just need to know you. Or know of you, you say. Yeah. So they could have been from passing. This is the list of potential of suspects is... Ugh. That means maybe we've even seen this person before, but can't be sure. We've met so uh, many or people. Or they've at least possibly seen us. Uh, seen so Rowan. We've never met. We haven't. Yeah. We don't. We can't say for sure that they know that we're any. The rest of us are being tracked. Huh. Is there anything from your past that might be catching up to you, Rowan? I think Not that I'm aware. This okay. seems like it's just all curious. Of us. My past is kind of gone at this point uh, the only thing i could think of is night bane but i think i think he's gone have you ever come Should across be. necromancy other than myself and critias no Dude. well Just... there was another time but i don't want to talk about it right now since we can't remember Maybe somebody else remembered, and maybe we did something. Well, for now, all we can do is keep an eye out. But you guys need to finish your rest. Um, yeah. The scry's gone for now. They know that we're watching. We'll try again later, but... Rowan's gonna pick Davner up off his shoulders and put him down. point I'm trying to make is it wasn't Hellfire. No, it wasn't Hellfire. Okay. Um, well, Amara, did... <sighs> Those those things, those uh, death knights. Mm. Y you've you know they're necromantic. Uh, I can feel that they're dead. Right. Is there any way you can pinpoint on where they could pot potentially come from? Like an area, a person. Protect uh, undead. Like a specialty in death knights. I don't know. <laughs> well, if we get one of them. We can take one of them. If we can capture it, we can get information. The issue is getting one of them alone. They're going to be chasing us down with those big-ass birds. If we set a trap, maybe we can get one of them to talk. If they still have a soul. Um, yeah, speaking of which, um, do undead, would, do they have souls? Because if so, could try a thing. Roll a creepy fuck check. How I that? love creepy fuck checks. <laughs> also, more of a practical question for God. My yeah. gloves of soul punching, you know, would they let me grab someone's soul? No. Your okay. soul is mine. Because if I could <laughs> grapple someone by their soul, that's metal as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right. A broad ruling on this right now. No, you cannot grab somebody by their soul. <laughs> Listen <All> here. Right. <laughs> uh, Rowan's just going to kind of like 
anxiously tap the tablet and look down at it uh, and just kind of say, come on, Cog, where are you? Ren is prowling along the ship itself, and she seems to be, like, moving across, and her eyes are slowly going from green to blue to white to red as she appears to be hunting something. Umps. <laughs> and impacts with a, a rat that was on the ship itself. Oh, and nice! She like, begins to... <laughs> and, and, and cracks the neck and immediately starts digging into it and eating the rat. Nice job, Rin! Mm -hmm. Is it Rowan's gonna just start clapping? Omara's gonna crouch down. Do you think she eats the bones, too? Oh, oh dear. You I don't know, I guess we'll have to... We'll have to find out. She doesn't get, get angry, but she's like, back off my meal. Um, hey, that's all yours. I'm just yeah. proud of you. Yeah, she, she, but she does like seem to like cock her head slightly as Amara talks. And after she's chewed portions of it and she's gotten all the meat off of it, uh, a little while later, Amara, after everything's like calmed down and she's like done, you see as she flaps slightly like trying to carry and drag what remains of this rat carcass over to you mm -hmm. and leave it and then flap or like half flap her way back over to Rowan. Pick up the knot on her <laughs> rat body. Oh my God. She's gonna put it in her bag. She's gonna walk over and give her scritches. Like, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you. Watching Amara stuff the, the desiccated body into her bag, like, Necromancers, you're so gross. I have plans. You're so gross, just burn it alive. Dude. No, I'm going to make a corpse flower one day. It will devour things. A what? Before we go to sleep, uh, Akron, if you'd like to work on meditation a bit uh, before you take your rest, we could. I mean, we still have time. Let's give it a try. And if nothing else, it will be my uh, my lullaby. Just remember, we're still friends, and she pulls out her decanter of endless water, flicks open the top, aims it at you, and just starts teaching you, and ready, if you fail, to do things and stuff and stuff and things. It's like a squirt bottle. <laughs> it is! <laughs> bad, bad Akron! Akron sits down, and like draws up a small circle. And he sits down and begins to like try and meditate as Amara menacingly points this decanter at him so i went from a seven to an eight so great it's a ten um um and amara you're watching as his head starts to drift down slightly mm -hmm. what do you want to do stream you're gonna have a gallon of water bucket in your face <laughs> yeah. and in a ice bucket challenge you get <laughs> doused with cold water and you're like oh, oh. um i'll say about this time that uh, uh that sound of a scream ends uh ink eyes tunuks and and Davner's sleep uh as as akron gets ice bucket challenge it'll get progressively worse focus okay i'm trying the the bad thing is <laughs> like akron's off. really trying in character but he just He's, his determination, his <laughs> life is determined by a dice. You guys will grumble and get up again and go out to see what's happening. If he's okay. gonna try and meditate, Ink will fucking help him because he's a monk and knows about this shit. <laughs> uh, Akron, you sit down as like, now you have Amara with her spray bottle menacing you and Ink Eyes sitting off to the side right behind you. He's currently a get fucked sandwich between me and Ink. He's <laughs> 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 a check with advantage. With advantage. <laughs> Natural 20! Fuck! <laughs> okay. I better roll another one just to be safe. Oh, well, so bad. Doesn't matter. But... And all of you watch as the puddle of water that seeps around him seems to soak out and then form up in a circle around his being. Akron, you hear a voice far and distant in your mind speaking, resonating through the blood that comes 
and flows through your entire veins as you have been divinely touched. Speak your need. Speak your desire. As a very weak sounding Mistra speaks to your mind. I have known magic my whole life, but I must learn something I've never known. I am willing to sacrifice something I have to gain the knowledge of this new magic. You wish to heal those who have been affected. I do. I... I wish to bring back what was lost to those people. You hear and feel sort of a nod that really pushes at your soul in many aspects. Feel as energy seems to coalesce around you. And for the briefest of instants, a light that goes into a starburst and a warmth that encompasses your entire being I will assist. And it whispers into your mind and disappears. All of you outside watching the water forming around Akron, the pulses of energy that seem to go through the water, up his crossed legs, up his body, and subsuming into his cloak that was flashing blue and lightly white every now and then into a blue star pricked pattern of dawn sky. I believe I was touched by Mistra again. You heard her. She was there, but very... Very weak. As you two are watching this blue glow come off of off of Akron's new cloak, you both look up and catch each other's eyes. As Ink Eyes, you notice that there is no longer a blue glow coming from the star on Amara's arm. He'll and Amara, notice that and check his You own. look over and see his Ink Eyes' is tattoo also no longer has a blue glow. Did he just do what I think he did? You just took the last... <laughs> I, I didn't realize... As the last three members who had a symbol of Mistra on them, assisted with this particular bit of divine intervention. Well, if she was weak, can't be good. Um, Akron, uh, very carefully, you're in a circle. Can you delicately remove yourself from the circle to, so I can see if there's another clue? As you do, the star pattern has completely coalesced into a single circular pattern. Checking with your book. Do you think she's dead or depleted and trapped? I think. And it says you. She's probably dead, but you can't know for sure. She's a I god, ain't she? I can't live without you. Death for a god is a uh, tricky business. Do you ask her if she where she is or what we could do to help her? Why any chance? No. It really wasn't that kind of conversation. She no. asked me a question. I answered. She sounded very, very weak, though. Her voice was not like it was. What the hell? That thing's massive. It's a giant fucking rock. Rowan is gonna go in, go toe to toe with that death knight. Fuck yeah, he is. Okay. Fuck um, yeah, he is. Let's go, baby. And let's go, Rowan. He's gonna. My boy going in. I rolled a nat twenty, so I'm just gonna stop there. I'm gonna stare him in the eyes, his dead, cold eyes. I'm sending you back from whence you came. And 
Uh, fly, fling out the fireball. Yeah. You see as uh, Akron is pulls back, he says this, the fireball floats out, and it just seems to pulse with a hellish red light as it stops right in front of the Death Knight, and then just... The whole beast is completely encompassed with all of this fire, and as it recedes, the Death Knight is completely gone. And the only thing that remains is the rock burnt in pain. <laughs> None of you have been really paying a lot of attention as from the depth, from below, from the edge of the ship itself, you see a sudden flash as a bronze colored being, a head snaps around the rock entirely, consuming the rock whole. You look up and you see as this huge, monstrous sized draconic creature, something that could consume your entire ship in a single bite is above you in the sky. I'm going to yell up in Draconic. I try to cook it a little for you. Floats there in the sky. And then for a moment, it disappears. What looks like a human male stands. He stands and looks up at all of you. Good to see you again, boy. And that's where we're going to end it for the evening. It's your fucking dad. <laughs> 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 It's about to be a Jerry Springer episode. No, I don't know tuna can, Dad. Tuna. Honestly, he believed, he believed his father to be somebody else entirely, so this would be sort of an interesting. This is cool. Oh, man. Yo. <laughs> Yo. That's my guess. That's my... That's my First generation Dragonborn? Is that what you said? He's Dude, here I got now. goosebumps. I got goosebumps. <laughs> oh, dude, that was... Oh, I can't wait for next week. Can we just, can I just, like, freak out for a bit? I got it. you, okay, so usually I'm, like, buffing and hasting people and debuffing things to give, like, all of our fighters chances, but I got to release and just do damage. So out of all of my, and it felt so good. So out of every, I, all of my spells that I have equipped today, except for Counterspell, Sunbeam, Big Beast, Banishment, and Synaptic Static, all Necromantic. So I only had like realistically five spells to choose from or else I'm healing these creatures.